Hello, welcome back to my channel. I'm just going to do an August flip through for you today. Um, not much has changed since my last one, but I will be talking through everything in this video. So if you have any questions, just leave them below and I'll do my best to answer them for you. So to start off, I have in my front pockets, I have an if found card, which I can't show you any details on there, obviously. Um, but it's just got my name and contact number on there. I've got some highlighter swatches. These are um, the Tombows that I usually use. And I got this idea from Plan With B. And I also have a little card. This didn't come out exactly how I planned. Um, it's a bit small and hard to read, but it's basically the font that I use for all of my inserts. I make quite a lot of my own inserts, so it's just useful to have the font names and also hex codes, which unfortunately are a bit too small. Um, but obviously I will redo this at some point. Um, and then this is just sort of an example of the look that I'm going for, sort of a floral with a bold type. Um, so it's just a bit of fun really. Not completely useful, but um, this is just a little um, craft envelope and um, just for a piece of decoration. Um, apart from that, I don't really have much decoration. Um, I've got my uh, Filofax Ollie clip. Um, didn't know what the big deal was about these until I got one, but they're so useful. Um, in this zip pocket here, I usually just keep some post-it notes. There aren't any in there at the moment. In this back pocket, I just have a, a coupon code from Bloom and Wild, so I can send someone some flowers. So this is my front dashboard. I've just got a piece of acetate. This is just some clip art from Etsy. I can't remember the seller, but I will link it below. Um, but I do get quite a lot of my floral clip art from Etsy and then I just make a, a, a dashboard out of it in Canva. Um, and then this um, calendar card I made in Canva as well. I can make those available in my freebies file on Google Drive if anyone is interested. Um, this is from my Minimal Planner. I've just printed it on vellum. Um, I love the, the font and obviously I love coffee, so <laughs> um, this I think is from HR Handmade, I can't quite remember because it's quite old, um, and it's just a leaf design. This is from Paper Tarry, I think that was a freebie with an order. And then these dividers are made from quite thick vellum, um, I can link the, the vellum below. Um, but it's one from Amazon and it is really good quality. So it's just vellum, it's not laminated or anything. And I've just put, um, it's like frosted tape over the tabs um, and they are printed on two. So they, I've had these for quite a while. I can't remember when I first put them in here, but it has been months. So they are, they are holding up. I think they're just starting to, some of them are just starting to sort of bubble um, where, the, where the tape isn't stuck down very well anymore, but they've lasted really well and I can make them again because I've got the template for those. And this is Franklin Covey compact size, by the way, I don't know if I mentioned that before. Um, this is um, a, this is a vellum again. I scanned this notebook in and just printed it on vellum because I love the pattern so much. So top tip for free vellum. <laughs> I really love that. I might use that as my main dashboard for winter because I think it is quite wintry, but I love it anyway. This is my planner routine. So I've got daily, weekly and monthly. And um, this was based on a design that um, I think it's Amanda Lee Plans did, but she used stickers and, and vellum. I just sort of recreated the look on Canva. I've got the same sort of thing for my weekly routine. I've got all the tasks that repeat every week on, on different days. Um, this is a trigger list from the Planner Spot. Um, I love her inserts. I love her font as well. It's really cool. Um, and then that's the second part of the trigger list. Um, this is something that I found on Pinterest. 
it's from lifebywhitney.com and it's just a, a sort of trigger list as well so it's sort of a list of lists basically um lists you can make and put in your it says bullet journal but you can easily use it for a planner and um, this is a trigger list from plans with emma um, and then I've got my tasks section. So this is all my routines section. So anything to do with um, routines. Brain dump is part of my routine, which is why I've got trigger lists in there. So in my tasks section, I try not to explain this too complicated because <laughs> it makes sense to me, but I don't know if it makes sense to anyone else. So these... Um, these are tasks that recur throughout the year, so they don't need to be done every month, but they need to be done every other month or every three months or once a year. So I just highlight, I put the task and I've got sections home, hubby, miscellaneous um, and more miscellaneous, I assume. <laughs> um, so I've got some home tasks and um, things like turn the mattress, change the Nutridol, boiler service, car tax, test heating. Yeah, test heating needs to be done this month. So I've just highlighted how often they need to be done. And I tick them off when they're done. And I've got medical um, hubby. Miscellaneous is antivirus renewal, which is once a year. MOT, um, replace cooker hood filters, clean cooker hood filters, request new buildings insurance. Um, wardrobe audit, clean washing machine, clean fan. Uh, and bike service so um, and then obviously in the new year I'll do a new one of these and I'll know exactly when things need to be done just makes it so much easier than trying to remember when to do everything I hope that made sense if you do have any questions just leave them below and I'll be happy to answer and um, these are week specific tasks so these are things that need doing every month but I split it into weeks so I don't get overwhelmed with having to do everything in one week. It's a sort of personal um, tasks. These are tech, um, what have I called it? Office admin. Um, these are household and these are planner related. So these are on a sticky thing um, because I was gonna put them on weekly or, or daily pages, um, but I don't really like them on there. So it's kind of just, there now <laughs> um but it goes along with this which is from peanuts panico and this is their yearly tracker i don't know exactly what it's called but i think it's in the bundle i'll move it across a little bit um yeah i think it's in the the yearly bundle um so i've got all the tasks here so i've got week one tasks week two office admin so that's things like defrag the laptop clean the printer do the shredding check for updates declutter my desktop all that kind of stuff household is meal plan uh, order butcher's meat uh, deep clean the fridge and um, check stock of sort of staple items things that we assume we always have and then week four is planning. So that's when I print my inserts for the next month, do my design, my deco for my dashboard. That's that's all I do because um, otherwise it just takes too much time. Um, do my monthly highlights, do a brain dump, do my monthly plan. Um, so my monthly view um, and then do my monthly budget, which is on a spreadsheet. Um, and then I've got miscellaneous tasks, feed the plants every week. And that is in between the clocks changing in March and the clocks changing in October. And then we'll stop feeding them. Um, it's just easy to remember. Um, quite thorough, <laughs> but it does work. Um, as you can see, I've checked off all the things. So it seems to be working. But I think that's a really good way to split things up, sort of group um, grouping tasks. Um, again, any more questions, let me know. This is an inbox. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Um, I'll, I'll sort it out. <laughs> I'll do it later. Um, this is um, a sensible list, a sensible inbox. So this is a, a GTD section that I created because I really want to understand GTD, getting things done. But I don't think I will use it 
in its entirety it doesn't make well it, it does make sense but i i i don't i don't know how to use it really i don't know whether i should just read the book because that would probably explain it a bit better but at the moment i've just got inbox i printed a next actions list but i've got a couple of different brain dumps so i think that's or, or sort of to-do list so i think that's maybe why i haven't used next actions because i've got a to-do list on my monthly and then i've got my inbox so my inbox is sort of as and when so that i suppose that would be my someday maybe whatever it is someday maybe so yeah my inbox is like do it whenever and then i've got a brain dump on my monthly view which is things to do that month and then obviously anything that needs doing weekly i'll just put it on the week so i think that's probably why i haven't used it but i've still sort of got my own system um sorry if this is super confusing I, <laughs> i'm not very good at explaining things um so there's that i've got project list as well um which is quite handy because i do have quite a lot of projects going on um, and then I've got an add to planner list as well, which is quite useful too. Um, this is my second section. I can't believe we're 12 minutes on and I'm only on section two, so I'm so sorry. <laughs> um, so section two, um, this is a yearly overview on vellum from Paper Test Designs. I believe this is from HR Handmade. Um, just a, a heart acetate. This I made and I think it's available in my freebies folder on Google Drive. So if you wanted to download it, you can. This is a perpetual calendar. So it's just got birthdays, obviously things that happen every year like car tax and MOT and boiler service and things like that. This is my future log. So I just put every appointment on here. This is really scribbly and messy, which I um, I don't mind. I'm happy for it to be because that's how it works. Then I've got an annual leave. I think this is in the month, uh, the yearly bundle from Peanuts Planner Co as well. And this is uh, future planning for 2023. So anything uh, sort of work related, hospital appointments, anything for next year, I'll just pop in there. This is from My Minimal Planner. And then I've got a month tab. So my monthlies are from Rose and Mist. Um, this is, I think, quite a small Etsy shop, um, but she has got some really nice inserts. So I'll show you a blank one. So you've just got the month here, and I just use sticky dots on the days where things are happening. You've got the days of the month down here, so I just use those to obviously put in the events. Then you've got a checkbox sort of um, to-do list here. That's where I put my brain dump. And then you've got a little section down here, two more lists. So I've put a range of things down there. I've put to buy, look into, waiting on, monthly tasks. So the monthly tasks obviously relate to this again. So what needs to be done that month I'll just pop them on there as a reminder I've got a page marker from Plan by Stowe and um, that's one of my favorite planner shops I really like her stuff and then my weekly section again there's some more of the heart vellum this is from 25 trails design I was using weeklies I designed these ones and um, they're similar to the paper test ones made my own slightly different ones um, and then I've got this bit in the middle that's got TV shows, YouTube videos, um, and thoughts and notes, and then just brain dumps based on the black. So I was using those for a while, and then I decided they were too cramped. So I started using a week on one page from Peanuts Planner Co. This is just their freebie one. Um, alongside dailies, these are from Sammy's Planner. Um, on Instagram. I really like these ones. Um, so I used those. So I started using these 11th of July um, and I've been in dailies since. It's the first time I've tried dailies and I think they're brilliant. Um, oh, that was a lie. I haven't been in them since then. So this is 25th of July. 
Um, so this was something that I designed. This is based on Plan to Create's inserts um, that she's recently designed. Um, so hers were half letter size and she had all of the days on a spread. So she had this column and then Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, all on the spread, half letter. Obviously with Franklin Covey Compact, it's just going to be as small as as these so it wouldn't work for me so I just split it into two so I've got the first half of the week and then the second half of the week and then I've got my categorized lists down the bottom so I've got meal plan home tv movies youtube art ideas self-care workouts and brain dump so I also really liked these so I might go back to these at some point um, but I really liked the grid as well it's just, I don't know, it's just nice to try try something different. But I thought that was a really great design by um, Juliet Plan to Create. Um, and then I designed these um, dailies, which I've been in since the beginning of August, which is hopefully not a lie. <laughs> so, yeah, I've got my to-dos here. Um, I've got a little brain dump section here, which has been brilliant because most of the time it's been brilliant. <laughs> um, I can just write down little notes um, and I usually write down things to look into, um, usually when I'm sort of watching art videos and things. Um, this is a page marker that I made the other day. Um, this is our Chinese order for tonight if you're interested. <laughs> um, so it was just um, a Dymo label that I put onto a laminating sheet and put it through. It has gone kind of like a smoky colour. I don't know if you can see that. It's quite strange. I think it's, it must be some kind of reaction from the laminator with the label. Um, so yeah, I've been in the these dailies, um, but I scrapped the Peanuts Planico weekly. And I've got a half, well, it's not a half sheet because it's bigger than the half sheet. Um, but it is a weekly overview, so I've got my little weekly overview here. And then on the back I have a weekly capture. So I've got uh, workouts, meals, zone cleaning, incoming, which is any post that I'm waiting on or anything I'm waiting from from someone else. Um, art time, which is any art tutorials I want to do, um, just because I do forget them. Um, and then this week, um, just any notes I might have. Um, I've got a sticky note with my butcher's order and things to pick up from the refill shop. So they've been working really, really nicely. Um, we're green next week, if you're interested. Um, okay, and on to section four. I bet the person who asked for a tatty flip is regretting it now. <laughs> This is my home section. This is from my minimal planner. Um, this is a cleaning list from the planner spot. That was a freebie. If you're on her mailing list, you'll um, get links to her freebies. Um, this is a dashboard. I've just got sticky notes attached to it for each zone, for zone cleaning. So when I see something that needs cleaning, I'll write it down. Unless it's something that's been done straight away, then I'll obviously do it straight away. Um, but if it's sort of something that I don't have time to do, I'll write it down on here. So I've got hallway, kitchen, bathroom, bedroom and lounge. Um, and then I've got this 50-50 closet purge. So back on my um, tasks that need to be done several times a year, but not every month. I've got a wardrobe audit, so this is quite useful for that. And that is from whowhatwhere.com. I just found that on Pinterest. And then I've got my zone cleaning list. So um, these are a freebie on my Google Drive. So I've got one, hall stairs and landing, two, kitchen, dining and pantry, three, bathrooms and laundry, four, bedrooms and five, living room. And for each zone, you've got weekly, these are things that I do when I do my weekly clean. So I sort of dust everything, uh, wipe down windows, dust furniture, we vacuum, obviously, um, water the plants in the room. 
And then when it's the zone cleaning week, there's a list of specific tasks. So things that are a bit um, more of a deep clean. So um, cleaning the windows, wiping the sealant around the edge of the room, um, wiping the door handles and things like that. Um, and then there's zone self-care, which is something that um, Diane in Denmark does. So she is a lady on YouTube. Um, I'll link her uh, video down below sorry her channel down below um so she lives in Denmark and she does the fly lady system but she sort of makes it her own um and she suggests doing a bit of self-care when you're in each zone so for the living room it could be have a movie night um because it's based in the living room for the bedroom it might be have coffee in bed one morning or buy some flowers uh, for the bathrooms, it might be have a nice bubble bath or do a manicure. Um, for the kitchen, it might be try a new recipe or make something nice like a sweet treat or, an, or a nice cake. Um, and then for the hallway, it might be buy some nice flowers. So when you come home, you've got some lovely flowers to look at. So I thought that was a really lovely idea. Do I do it? No. <laughs> you've got a little section of restock. So is there anything that you might need for the area, light bulbs, candles, um, and that's different for each each zone. Anything you can declutter and any home care you can do, like touching up paint, filling cracks, washing blankets, things like that. So they're quite useful lists that you might want. Again, I said they're um, uh, freebies on my Google Drive. Um, and then I've got this 365 declutter list. So this is the 365 declutter challenge. Um, this is home contacts, so we've got account numbers and things for our bills and utilities. Um, then section, oh this is section four, we're even more behind than I thought we were. Oh dear. Okay, so this is um, things to budget for. I think this is in my um, Google Drive as well if you want to download it. So if you do a monthly budget like I do, I do it on a spreadsheet so it's not in my planner I just that's just the way I've always done it um, and it sort of calculates everything for me and I can see months in advance what my balance might be if I don't spend anything but <laughs> um, so we've got income housing food medical clothing financial debt personal utilities travel giving and transport so all the different categories that you might want to budget for then i've got a pocket for receipts this is just a filofax one and um, then i've got yearly bill tracker so that's all of our bills and i i put a little dot when they've come out of my account and um, this is a fuel purchase record so i was just putting a dot when i filled up with fuel just to see how long it would last me which is not very long at the moment and then I've got shop list. So this is just um, different lists for different shops. So when I go to that shop, I can um, pick up things that I need. Um, so shops that I don't go to all the time, like Ikea. Oh, next time I go to Ikea, I will pick up this and um, things like that. Section five is wellness. This is from my minimal planner again. And this is from Plan by Stove. The, the two two card pocket and I just made these little cards so I've got healthy habits um, and then a little card about worry time this is from Paper Terry and this is the little vision board that I did at the beginning of the year um, I made that on Canva this is from my minimal planner and then I've got doctor's visits and then medical notes medical contacts and then I've got goals. This was a printable from Shada Campbell's Patreon. She's an artist. Um, if you have a look at her YouTube, she's got some lovely tutorials. Um, you've probably seen quite a lot of them in my work on my Instagram. Um, and then this is my goals for 2022. Then I've got the latest yoga with Adrian calendar. Section six is events. I've just got a list of cards to send throughout the year and then I tick them off when I've bought the card, written the card and sent the card. Then I've got, uh, this is, I was gonna use this as a gift tracker. This is from my minimal planner as well. This is my eat section. 
Uh, I've got this from Nutritiously. It's a, a food blog. Um, I made these on Canva. So I've got our favourite meals, quick and easy midweek meals, um, weekend lunch ideas, meat temperature guide, and then just two decorative cards. Um, this was just in a book. I just liked the picture. And then I've got a grocery store guide. So when we do our big shop once a month, um, I go through this and check if we've got everything that we need. Um, if we've got enough sort of bin bags and cling film and tin foil and washing powder and things like that. Um, so that's quite handy. Information was from a nutritionist. Um, and then this is from Nutritiously as well. And so is this and this and this and this. And then I've got a list of seasonal produce. I use the week on, sorry, month on two pages for my meal planning from Peanuts Panico. It's just their free one. So I just use this to put all, all the um, seasonal produ produce. So I've got my meal plans in here. Probably don't need to keep them all um, from January, but I just um, like looking back at them for ideas. Um, so I plan a month at a time. I just find it's the easiest way to do it for me. Um, if you wanted a more in-depth video about meal planning, I can do one, but it's quite simple. We just pin recipes throughout the month that we like the sound of, or I write down any ideas on a sticky note, and then when the next month's um, meal plan comes up, I just plug them in. We always have pizza on Fridays. Um, we tend to do easy dinners during the week, and then maybe... Um, more complicated things that take more time at the weekend okay um then i've just got some recipes um my husband's quite a, an avid cook he loves cooking so and he's he's really creative with recipes and um, so we just write down any little marinades that he's made and things we came up with this the other day pina colada cheesecake um which we haven't made but we might do and um, some more nutrition info then i've got my create section this was a post postcard that was free with a magazine and um, i've just got some planner ideas on the back of there um these i made in canva they're on my google drive if you'd like them and um, this is a checklist for a domestic course that i did um, these are Patreon tutorials that I need to do. Um, this is a content calendar, so it's not my content, it's um, other people. They're mostly artists, but they're um, ones that I specifically follow that I really, really like. So I've got Natasha Newton, um, De Winton Paper Co, Miscellaneous, Shada Campbell, and I've got the Uncurated Life podcast, which is um, Cindy uh llama letters podcast um so i've recently started listening to that and i really like that so i just put when they when they've posted something in their specific color um when i've listened to it i will put a little dot next to it or when i've watched it i will put a little dot next to it and if it's an art tutorial once i've done the tutorial uh, so once i've painted the artwork i will put a, a, a line through the dot um, that just keeps me on top of things and gives me ideas when I don't know what to paint. So I've got that for the whole year. Then I've got just a little planner set up uh, mood board that I did at the beginning of the year. And then this is just the Tombos that I was going to use for the year and the corresponding dot stickers from various brands. So these are Plan by Stowe, these are Paper Tarry. And these are Ickle and Co. And um, this is a sticky note, which I, I just put it on my iPad and traced over it. It was just a picture on Pinterest. So I thought that was quite pretty. And um, then I've got my, um, oh, sorry. <laughs> um, I've got my uh, dot stickers. So these are Paper Tarry dot stickers. So she, she sends you like a menu of, of colours um, and I've just got them in here so I know which ones are which um, and she has discontinued some 
recently I've just put a cross next to the ones that are discontinued um, then I've got Plan by Style Dots and recently I got the Colour Dot which I was amazed by the amount of colours it's crazy so there's all of these and then all of these as well um, and then I've just got some Tombow swatches uh, art ideas um, art projects project planner brush pen swatches Planner discount codes, useful planner info, planner shop favourites. So they're just where are my favourite dot stickers from, minimal icons, sticky notes, printables, that kind of thing. Um, Peanuts Planner Co insert checklist, so I just checked off the inserts that I've already got. Um, that's a spring planner review that I did. Um, and then I've got my fiction section, so I drew this on uh, Procreate um, and it's the cover of a book. I can't remember who the original artist was. Um, this is from Peanuts Planico. I think this was in the yearly bundle as well. So it's just a schedule of when all the TV shows and films are coming out. Um, and I just put a line through when we've watched them. Um, so I look at the website Geek Town, it's got all the UK air dates um, and they sort of put on there when things will be released, so it's quite a good website. And um, this is an episode tracker, so it's not actually an episode tracker, it's like a, a yearly tracker, it's the same one I use for my tasks. Um, but I thought it would make a really good episode tracker because it goes all the way up to 26. So I can't use both sides because that says 27 to 52. So I, I could renumber it, I suppose. But yeah, working really well for a TV episode tracker. So that's a, an idea for you if you want to use that. We're watching Better Call Saul at the moment. We started watching it right from the beginning, um, probably about six weeks ago. And we're on season five now. So not long to go on that Um, also watched The Chair recently and Only Murders in the Building as well love that show Um, movie watch list up upcoming TV releases TV show watch list so the the upcoming TV releases is when there's no specific date but they are coming so obviously if it's got a specific date I'll put it on this one if it hasn't I'll put it on this one um, TV show watch list, book releases, books to read, ridiculous list, can't stop buying Kindle books, um, travel, this is just a map of York and some places to stay, um, then I've got my contacts in section 11 and then section 12 is just some note paper and this is from the planner spot as well. And then I've got some coupons in a Filofaxi folder, some stamps, optical record card, um, and then I've got the I've got a I think this was from Sort Stuff Out page lifter. Then I've got the dashboard that came with the Motem, and I've got my Tombow number N eighty nine in there. In the back, I have a workout schedule on a little card. Don't know how easy these are going to come out. Oh no, paint's come off. I'll explain that in a minute. <laughs> um, so this is my workout schedule. And then I've got my spending rules. This was inspired by uh, Arel. Spending rules. Then I've got my self-care check-in. So these are just little questions if you're feeling exhausted or overwhelmed, just little questions to ask yourself. And then I've just got a little deco card here that says you're a wildflower. I thought that was quite cute. I made all of those on Canva. And then I've just got an appointment card from Plan by Stow. So that's all that's in there. I don't think there's anything 
yeah there's nothing in those and I've just got some notes in the back so as I said I won't keep you too long because we've been going 40 minutes already and my my I'm losing my voice <laughs> so I said the paint's coming off I painted my planner with Angelus leather paint and I mixed two colours together to get this sort of grayish colour because I'm super fussy about paint um so yeah painted my planner um kind of gives it away on here you can see my little test swatch that I did so I didn't want to test it on the actual planner so I just tested it on the flyleaf and this was me mixing the perfect grayish <laughs> which I think I've I think I've got I, I really like the colour of it it's showing up a little darker um on screen than it actually is so I'll open the blind in a minute and show you the actual colour. You've probably seen it on Instagram anyway. Oh, and this is a Faber-Castell brush pen in earth green. And the pen I use is a Pentel Energel um, in 0 0.38, 0.3, 0 0.4, I think. Um, it's, I don't know if this has happened to anyone else's, but this is really discoloured. I haven't even had this pen that long, so I think I'll be looking for a different barrel. So if you've got any recommendations, please let me know. Um, I, this is a personal Motem Lux um, with Franklin Covey compact inserts. Um, and I've pinned, I've just pinned the pen loop back here so it doesn't interfere with the pages so I just pin that there so I put everything back and then if I close it you can see this is like flush with the inserts but obviously it's flat so if you were to, if you were to put a pen in there it's not going to go in to start with <laughs> it's going to sort of squish will it well it but it it interferes with that one yeah it does so you can only use one or the other you can see the difference in color actually a little bit better there so this was the color it was this is the gray gray moten pebbled gray and then this is the grage yeah, really happy with my setup. I will probably change a few things um, and obviously review everything for the new year because um, it won't be long now. Um, but if you've got any questions, let me know. Feel free to ask. I'll just finish off by showing you this little drawing that I did yesterday. Um, just some uh, floral line art. I've got a huge frame to fill for our hallway. Um, so I thought it'd be nice to do some big flowers so I'll let you know how I get on with that but yeah if you've got any questions let me know and thank you for watching